Uh, do so well. Who's here? I don't do roll call, but I like to know who's here. Kua Ea. Kua. Suits, oh, Sutset, Kutz, Eonaha, Ea. Yeah. Okay. Chish. Kunchish. I don't know where everybody is, but uh, in Anchorage, it's, uh, I think it's at seven degrees out. So I'm glad I'm sitting here instead. <clears throat> Pussy art, how you say? Pussy art, it's cold. Um, I even learned that how to say that in uh, Eskimo <laughs> from my friend Alapa. Easy word. Okay, I guess we can start by. Uh, talking about the um, the knock knock that we started on, and um, if you have any uh, comments or questions at this time, maybe we can uh, take them while we're kind of waiting for others to show up. So, yeah. Um, so I'm still working on my Klingit name. Um, my mom gave me um some pointers around it, and she said my name could be Hude or should I say? My mom's name is Tacy after our ancestor Tacy Reed. Who found who um settled on this island that we're on right now in around 1860, and she's full Klingit. So my mom's name is actually Tacy after her, which means little bird. Oh yeah, that's really an, an easy one to say, huh? Yeah. So my mom, she wants me to like match up my name for like what it like the correct name for me could be based on our lineage and our um relation to Tacy Reed. Yeah. Um but I guess should I say is like the daughter of Tacy. And then who I don't know what who day means, but she said that that could be a good name too. Um, the only thing I could think of is you are a daughter off a different bird. Yeah. Yeah, my my mom's name is uh Little Bird. Uh, the only way we can technically figure it out is if we figure out which bird she is because there's a lot of different little birds out there. Yeah. Oh. Like, for instance, if she's a hummingbird, you're going to be a daughter of her hummingbird side. Oh. So, uh, you, ha you can choose. It's up to you, you know, what, what you want to, you and your 
your mother decide what you want to use and uh and and you could determine if it's the right if, if you want to change it that'll be no problem for us so it'll be easier than you think because i could technically easily change my name and give out my name easily but i don't do that because i find it not right and this real real disrespected yeah <clears throat> as for you little bird we will figure out which kind of bird she is and if you want to change your kind of bird we will do that oh okay do you know what kind of little bird is tacy because that's that's her name is tacy <clears throat> i don't think i've i've heard that before but that doesn't mean anything i uh because of your location, you know, it might be different than what we know about the northern part. Oh, so, mostly no about half time summer, half time winter. Yeah. So I'm wondering if the words based off of Sutsi, uh, if some of the sounds and, and the symbols are not there, it's it kind of it could be written or sound similar, which is a word for uh for birds as well. Yeah, I think that Satsi, that's that's her name, but it's for some reason it's in English, it's Tacy. But that is her name is Satsi, I, I believe. Like like an actual K C. So it's Tacy T A C E E. So I oh, guess I mean... in Klinga it's Satsi, but in English it's written T A C E E. Oh, because I know uh another native brother that is legit named K C actual K and actual C oh it's weird because he he actually likes trucks and everything so we called him K C oh so like, you're, is this was a T Yeah, it's with a T, T A C E E, but I think it's Satsi. That's that's the actual name. It's Satsi, but she writes it Tacy in English. Yeah. Yeah. Tacy at uh, in Clink it would be T T E I S E E. Well, C uh, is a daughter of. So. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, my mom really wants me to take this class, too. She's the one that told me about it and sent me the link and everything. But if she's <clears throat> like, I like having you guys because it uh, keeps the language alive and you're helping out by doing that, by learning. So it's really great. <clears throat> So if we have, do we have any more people? Corey? Yeah, sorry, I'm trying to look up, uh, I got my words mixed up. I'm trying to look up the word we were talking about. Uh, we have a few other people here. Uh, Jackie's here, Polina, I believe everyone else spoke. Uh, we have five joining us right now. So if anyone else would like to, has a question or anything they'd like to say, Oh, I have one question. Okay. Um, I'm wondering, uh, I'm wondering what Huday means because my mom found that name and she thought that would be a good name for me, possibly. Could you say the word again? Yeah, Huday. Huday. Goodness. Try to spell it even in English. X O O D A Y E. X O O D A Y E. Uh, X is a uh, plain X is a lot of air. Who day? D E I is the last. Oh. 
Yeah, that would be a, a, a name that would be easy to say. Day. Um, that one's a little difficult. Yeah, it's a. The only thing that comes to mind is owl sun. Oh. Like an owl in the sun. Like That's my cool. name is Hitish. I'm the head killer who likes to chief a lot. But I don't do it on work or anything else until I'm off of work or etc. Okay. I, I'm trying to think. I think I might have uh, heard that somewhere before. Um, That's the only thing I could think of, Grandma. Yeah. It sounds like who day? Like who, who's day? Who's day? Well, uh, if we can look up who uh, X. Uh oh so yeah this is definitely my mom's name is say it's C. I, I don't know how to pronounce it but my mom goes by tacy which is like that's what it is is bird yeah yeah you have a choice so uh you know and either one of them will do it's either you technically have a choice or you don't have a choice. I technically had a choice to keep his name, but I wanted it to be slightly different. So, uh... uh it's almost like the, like, head cookman in my point of view. Because I do tend to like to cook. <laughs> That's really cool. Actually, I'm, um, I'm thinking about going to culinary school. Wow. Yeah, I want to open up my own vegan um, food cart in Portland. Yeah, I think uh, culinary is, is like two years, so it's pretty good. Yeah, I, I haven't gone to college yet, even though I'm 26. But that's what I want to do for college. I didn't go to college until I had a family. <laughs> Uh, oh. college, but I didn't complete my college assignment because I'm too busy trying to help my grandma. And yeah, we have, uh, uh, at that time, because I'm so ancient, um, it is uh, kind of a grand opening for uh, natives to start college. Before that, they didn't think we were smart enough to go. So mm -hmm. kind of like me, but I technically know everything, but I do not know everything like they do. Wow. Um, I had a I had a question. Yeah. Uh, this is Kua. So if we can um if I could bring us back to the knock knock. I was wondering I I did not remember the proper um response when you say, come on in. I remember it was like agu, is that ha, correct? Hagu. Hagu. Is that H, yeah. Hagu. Okay, so I didn't remember that. I appreciate that. Well, you can use it. It, it means come here. Oh, come you here. You can say that to somebody and you want them to come with you, Hagu. Uh, okay. And is yeah. there high tones on the... When I say I do so way, is it I do so way or is it monotone? No, it's uh there's a high tone, it's on the last word. Okay, uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So I'm gonna... Yeah. I want to share one more thing about the the birds and stuff we were talking about. And sorry if my, my mic sounds bad, I don't have my headset today. I'm just using the computer mic. Um this is kind of common right here where we have uh Initially, I was thinking of the wrong word, not, which uh, if anyone's studied um, colors, it's often used for yellow. It means like a small yellow bird. There's no real definition of which bird it is. Or here we have tsutsi uh, for a songbird. Again, it's not specific. And if I remember right, I think 
Shuch means a robin-like bird, which I guess would be a robin. I don't know what other birds look like that. So sometimes some of these words, they're not very specific with certain animals and stuff. It could be like a general bird or something that kind of looks like that or is that color, but it's not always like a specific species or anything like that. So sometimes it's a little bit vague. Hmm. Yeah, that's why most of the natives can't really understand who's who and what's what in most religion states. I think also the birds are, are different in different areas where it depending on where you come from. So uh, out on the Aleutian chain, they have a, such a variety. The word the birds were used to in the southeast seagulls and ravens. Yeah, that's the only thing we technically had except for like the eagles and eagles. all the other small birds. Yeah. Well, even like this, you know, means owl or moose, depending on where you are, you know. Yeah, yeah down in Huna there is a real there is one owl that is out there hiding somewhere, but it's not legit in Huna. It flies around there. Once in it, a while, it's in the woods. It will be like in a rare blue moon type of thing. Yeah. Well, I thanks have a for bringing up the birds. That's really interesting. Yeah. I'm wondering um, where you guys are located. I can't remember what you guys said. Are you talking about like hometown wise? Yeah, like where you guys are living. Oh, yeah. Anchorage. I, I, I and I are in Anchorage, and Corey is in where Haynes? Did you? Ah, I'm Zanti Kahini. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, it's uh I think I, I even had a student from Maryland one time and some from Canada. So so the the one from Maryland just texted me and said he couldn't get on today, but he was gonna watch the video, the uh, the the re re recording. Oh yeah, and, he's gonna have a good time right now. And I'm the other one from Maryland and also in Virginia right now. But it's snowing and there's mountains by us. So it doesn't look too terrible today. You should remember me, Brian. From um you uh -huh. um this is Kua and I was in Denali, a uh, borough in Alaska, but uh, seventeen, so I'm now in Hawaii. How's Hawaii? About seventy. Beautiful. Be high. <laughs> Be here for a month, so I'll be listening to you uh, from Hawaii. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, if if there's no more questions or comments, uh, we can start on the um, uh, knock knock. So because you're going to learn two more new lines today uh, as we continue to work on this, and for those of you who don't remember or uh, wasn't here. Uh, the the whole scene that we're working on is you're somebody that is visiting an old couple, and uh, so we start out by knocking on the door, uh, you say knock knock, and. Um, or do a real knock knock. Uh, I can do a knock knock because I have a desk here. But uh, if you can't, then you can just say knock knock, and and the audience will say, "I do so well. Who is that? who is that?" And you answer with your native name, saying it. Ashaksani kik aya. Um. I am Shaksaniki. And then the person inside says Haku, which means 
come in or come here. So I think we got to the part where uh, you are visiting because you're bringing something for them, for the old people. Tech, which means berries. And uh, I think we determined that if it's mixed berries, all kinds of different berries put together, it's called tech. So you're not being specific, you're just saying berries. Tech, hot hussy in, fruit cocktail, a banana steam. I brought you berries. It has fruit cocktail and bananas. That's what you're saying. And the old man says, I'll train Gunachish. A great big thank you. I'll train Gunachish. That's all I ever heard uh, when I was uh, growing up. People either said thank you or Say a great big thank you, Atlain Gunachish. So that's how far we got. And so we're going to learn some two new lines today. Uh, are there any uh, questions on this building up to now? <laughs> okay, if there's none. Uh, you say, um, let's see, I had it all set in my head what they were going to say to, to the old couple. Um, wasaya tea. Uh, oh, that's, that's one thing I, I couldn't decide. Uh, I thought I would call the, his wife by. English name, and, and the main reason for that is I don't want to use a Clinket name because it might be somebody else, somebody's real name. So I thought I'd say Wasaya T. Mary, his wife. Wasaya T. Mary. So it's it's W A S A tone mark on the last A Wasa. Next word, yeah. T Y A T I Wasaya T Mary. Any co any questions or comments on that one? Wasaya T Mary. Uh do you mean wasa idu wasak? No, I mean wasa yati. How is your man? How is Mary? She's asking, or you're asking, uh, how his wife is doing because you knew she was sick. Wasaya T. Mary. Got that? Any other comments or questions? You're asking, how is Mary? Wasaya T. Mary. W A S A. Tone mark on the last A. Y A T I. Maybe we better do uh, on the T after the T. Let's do the double E instead of the I.
Sorry about that. I have to, I have to imagine the words because I can't type it out. So his answer about his wife, you're ready. Okay. Kunach tak yati. Kunach. So it's underlined K U. N A X underlined. Kunach. Talk. TL. AKW. Talk. Yati. Y A T E E. We're not done with that one yet. You got that much talk, kunach talk yeti. Arthritis, the jiu. And uh, we don't have R's in any R's in our alphabet so the uh, uh when you say arth arthritis you probably need to drop the first r just because there's too many r's to handle for a native arthritis do you do do you and uh, no. I think uh, G Wu is uh, J double E double W G Wu U. Yeah, we. So the whole phrase is Kunach Chak Yati. She's really in a bad way with arthritis. She's got arthritis. Kunach tak yati. Arthritis. I think we will you in, uh, change that to teen. T e e n. Arthritis teen. You know, and your comment is to him is Ishan. Double E S H A A N. Double A N. Okay. Uh, so, 
can you can you just go through the whole thing once so we make sure we have it all right? Okay. Yeah. From Wasayati Mary. Wasayati Mary. Oh no, w I was thinking oh yeah, I was thinking of the whole thing, but oh okay. From the top. Yeah, from knock knock. Yeah. Knock knock. Then uh, the audience says, who is it? What? Who? I'll do somewhere. Okay, who is it? And then you answer with your native name, Shaksani Keek. Oh, yeah. This is Shirley. This is uh, Shaksani Keek. I hope you're marking these, which ones you speak and which ones uh, is spoken by the old man, which will be the audience. And then the old man says, Haku, come in or come here. Which is H-A-A. First word, go, G U, with the tone mark on the U. Ha, go. And you, when you come in, you say, Tech, ha, tosi, in. T L E I K W, yeah. Hatasi in H A A T. Next word. X. Was that X W? Do you have that on chat? X W. Uh, w A. X W A. S I C. Then there's a there's a period, and you type in in I N hot see in. Use that word see in when you're carrying liquid, anything that has liquid in. Check. Hatosi in next line by the old man Atlain Gunatish two A's T L E I N Atlain a great big Gonna cheese. Very big thank you. I hope you know how to spell gonna cheese. G U N A C H double E S H. High tone on the first E. And the next new, new lines that we're adding is Wasa Yati, Mary. How is Mary, his wife? Wasa, W-A-S-A, -S high tone on the last A. Next word, Y-I-T, double E, Mary. Wasayati, Mary. So you heard that she was sick.
his answer Hunach Tak Yati. Hunach is a lot. K underline U N A X. Hunach. Next word Tak. T L A K W. Tak. Yati. Y I T E E. Arthritis. Teen. T E E N. And your response is Ishan. And the, and the reason I want to include the comment about arthritis is uh, in a study that was done recently about Alaska Native is that if uh, the, the tribe that has more arth arthritis that is the uh, Clinkets than other other tribes. A study that was done, and they don't know why. So, did you get your notes straight? Do we even have time to go to our breakout room? We've got 20 minutes, we can give it a try. Yeah. So uh, uh, what we do in the breakout room is, uh, how many people do we have? We have seven students. OK. Then we have one, uh, one breakout room. and. Uh, you will take turns doing the knock knock. You, you, uh, when you finish all those phrases, then somebody else gets to do the knock knock. Are there any questions or comments? I don't really feel like I'm ready to do the knock knock yet, but maybe I can just listen. Uh, it, uh, one of the things about learning a language is, uh, and I always try to emphasize this, is that to say the words. And, and uh, the interesting part of, of learning a language is you hear yourself saying it. You get the experience of saying it and hearing it. And then, uh, that really adds to your learning. So if you can, give it a try, at least a couple of lines. Uh, and it, it, once you learn it, it's just gonna be like slipping off your, your tongue, easier to say. So uh, let's go to the, uh, breakout room and I'll, jo I'll join you guys. We're back. Yay. Yeah. We just have a few minutes left, so I brought us back to the main room. OK. Yeah, we were wondering. We were left out in space for a minute. Um, so uh, the reason that we're uh, doing this is to learn how to uh, have a, a regular conversation with somebody and and visiting especially old people um, to talk to them 
and usually um, you take some time to to see them. You don't don't just drop by and say, "I brought you berries, goodbye," you know, kind of thing. So, um, so we kind of drag it out a little. But uh, from what I heard, uh, there was uh, some problems with getting the W in there, but uh, using, making sure that W is not a letter you say, it, it tells you what to do with your lips on the K or the X that you said. So. <clears throat> Are there any uh, comments on that? Uh, what do we did? Everybody get a chance. Like uh, Alan said, hopefully we can get this uh, once we finish the the uh, conversation, knock knock conversation, so you can study it because I will I will need for you to do it by memory so that you sound a little more conversational. Right now, it's like uh, reading from the pages, uh, but the uh, the uh, pronunciation was was pretty good, and the ones that are struggling, are willing to ask, and that's good. Gonna teach for that. Um, Shirley, I have a question. Yeah. Um, uh, last time we had um fruit cocktail and bananas, and I can't remember was it, kle ka kwasi in, ka fruit cocktail ka bananas. How did we do that? You just say kle ka kwasi in. Fruit cocktail, la bananas tea. It's you're saying it's got it's got fruit cake cocktail and bananas in it. Okay. So, it, there's no word before fruit cocktail. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, Say, so, Kuni, I see you have a question. Uh, go ahead and ask it. Um, through through the video. I'm sure they can't read the chat. I try to type things in chat, but I can't do all the symbols and stuff correctly. I don't have a, the keyboard for it, so it's not super accurate. Okay, so I've been missing classes, um, and it's been hit and miss due to work schedule. So I missed it. Um, I listened in on the group, and then because there was just the two of them, I had them take me through it. But I, we ran out of time. And she said the last phrase was a big thank you. In Clinket, how do you say a big thank you? Artain. Artain. Means a great big thank you. Artain. Ah. Uh, Two A's. Uh, check the chat. Yeah, T L. E I N T. Okay. okay. And also, I would like to mention I was going through out of my way to find our old clean kit type of thing over on Quizlet. And I searched up more clean kit things. There is both northern and southern clean kit in Quizlet. So you can do research on both. Yeah, you have to. You have to Google Quizlet. Uh, then... I'll be posting it in the chat on where it's at. Oh, is that? I thought you had to to go to Google. Google. I already did it. I'm going to be posting it in chat so the people can go straight to it. It has oh. both northern and southern Plinket in it. Yeah. I heard northern more than southern what we use. Yeah. The southern is really beautiful to hear. So uh, after this week, maybe we'll, we'll figure out how to have you listen to that. But on Thursday, 
uh, we'll do a quick review and then uh, I think I will tell a story because we were, uh, that was one of the teaching methods that was used, at least for me when I was growing up. So uh, this was a story that is uh, told quite quite a bit. So stories, uh, there's a strong tendency for adults to repeat, and we'll discuss that the next time uh, about why it's repeated. And I, I've had, in, in uh, when I was teaching for the school district, I told them what story we were going to talk about. And one of the students says, we already heard that. You just told us the same story. So um, so I told, told them, OK, then you tell us the story. <laughs> but we, I want to talk about, after the story, we could talk about why it's repeated. So thank you, Gunachish, for coming. Yeah, they, Thank you so much. Can I choose to say you're quite the king? Uh, uh, 